Good day, adventures, and we're back for another Warf Imperium sessions here in Ragnarok GGH. And we are your casters for today. My name is MJ. And this is James, and uh, good evening to you all. And yes, uh, another Hello. Warf Imperium session here in Ragnarok Online GGH. Yes. And unfortunately for tonight, uh, we are encountering some uh, technical issues, so <laughs> we don't have a camera on for yeah. tonight. But uh, we will try to address them yes. in just a bit as we are going through War of Imperium for tonight. But a lot of interesting happened at the last War of Imper at the last War of Imperium session. No. Um, if you guys have been active, of course, in the War of Imperium, if you've been, uh, uh, you know, spectating the War of Imperium uh, happenings. Actually, last Saturday, it wasn't live, but uh, there was an attack in Dominari's castle. Oh. So maybe we will see something of that similar type uh, in this coming session. But yeah, this is going to be pretty interesting to see. This is going to be something to take note of, MG. Yep. So again, another attempt coming from multiple guilds. I think that's uh, multiple guilds that uh, attacked Dominari last Saturday. So I think uh, that's gonna be a, a thing now. I think uh, Dominari is actually just preparing for everything. I think uh, they're expecting that that they're gonna be the target for uh, for this time, and that's why I think Dominari is just uh, like putting a good numbers inside their defense for uh, inside their uh, castle right now. Well, you you don't want to give away your your yeah. castle, right? Yes. Because he, they've worked hard for uh, in a. In actually, you know, maintaining the economy of this castle, so you don't want to give it away that easily. Mm -hmm. So that's why, of course, they need to be prepared for their defense. They need to be always ready. So actually, we are uh, just scouting. I'm just sc scouting things mm -hmm. out, looking if there are uh, people in other castles right now. I think Adonis is in uh, Fat Grid Castle right now, oh. and uh, we might see some people later on in different castles, but. Uh, you know, things are a little bit chill right now for our players right here. So uh, just uh, make sure to comment in our uh, chat here to uh, shout out your favorite players, your guilds, your friends, your boyfriends, your girlfriends, and specifically your pets. Your because pets. we have an ongoing pet oh, yeah. event at yeah. the pets event. So make yeah. sure to pat your pets. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Kai said first. So hello Gabriel or Gabriel. Gabriel. What's up? What's up guys? And how are you all doing for tonight? Yeah. And ooh, someone's opening a diabolic egg. And oh. yeah, we want to talk about what happened later on in a uh, Ragnarok Asia Masters because it yes. has been pretty interesting. The finals of Ragnarok Asia Masters happened last Sunday. Mm -hmm. Also here at the Ragnarok Online GGH page, a lot of interesting things happened, and uh, it, it finally culminated, or the Ragnarok Asia Masters 2022 finally culminated last Sunday, and mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of things to talk about what happened right there, Actually, but maybe we'll talk about yeah. that <laughs> in, uh, later, or probably in our own specific time. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think MG, yes. right? Okay, so hello said uh, Michelle right here. So make sure oh. to comment down below what do you think if you are uh, participating in, in tonight's War of Imperium. So Bamboo Grove Hill has, has been conquered by Opus Day right now. I'm going to check it out right now, MG. Okay. So first things first, of course, uh, we do want to talk about the War of Imperium session for tonight. Uh, as mm -hmm. I mentioned earlier, Dominari Castle has been attacked. Yep. By uh, what do you call this? By other guilds mm -hmm. last uh, last uh, last last Saturday, but right now you know the place to be at is Scarlet Palace actually. MG, oh, okay. we want to go to Scarlet okay. Palace real quick right now. Okay, just uh, outside there are players from Aftershock, Opus Dei, and Dominari is actually the castle holder of uh, this castle. And there are, uh, there's a little bit of precast here in uh, Scarlet Palace, MG. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. So if you can check it out right now. All right, so you can see some uh, players of Dominari. Actually, this is pretty hard for Dominari. They are actually guarding two castles right now, MG. Yes. Um, 
I'm actually wondering why are they guarding like two castles? Is this gonna be like for just for today or are they planning to hold like two castles now for better chance of getting those seals? Maybe maybe they're planning to take like, lots of castles, but uh, you know it's pretty hard to take multiple castles. Exactly. Especially if you're taking care of the economy. So they might want to make a decision uh, later on before the War of Empire session ends. Because uh, majority majority of the castles uh, are open at the end of War of Imperium. Yes. But anyway, there is a precast here at the entrance of a Scarlet Palace. And said by Gabrielle right here, shout out to uncles and aunts playing War of Imperium. Good luck, have fun. <laughs> Why uncles and aunts, Gabrielle? Why uncles and aunts? Can it, can't it be like a... Like nephews? Nephews, yeah. <laughs> nephews and nieces? I think that's, that's good, that's good. Nephews Cousins? Cousins? Or uh... Bros, you know, <laughs> bros. Yeah. Well, it will be different if the uh, someone comments yeah. here. Shout out to my parents, please. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine. But 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 we might see it though, because majority of the players or a lot of players of Ragnarok are uh, like, you know, uh, at the at at on the, that stage plus, already. Thirty I plus think. age. Yeah, yeah, a lot of players are thirty plus. Right. Ouch. No Poggy camps today. Uh, unfortunately, Michelle, yeah. we don't have a Poggy cam today because MG. <laughs> <laughs> no, a few technical I'm issues sure happened, happened here account. and there. Oh my god. Uh, we, we've been trying to fix it for around uh, 15 minutes. Chroma cam. What happened? Well, yeah, I can show my cam, but you can actually see my background. That's, that's kind of. That's something that you don't want to see, you know? Yeah, it has uh, a lot of things in MD's background. <laughs> James saw so, it. Let's, uh, oh let's not talk Let's about not what open my cam. Okay, yeah, maybe James not, wants to open the... Let's not talk about what I saw. Let's not talk about what I saw right there at the back. Anyway, shout out to Dominary Guild, the strongest guild in GGH, and Nimrod Guild, the number one boss hunter in GGH server. Oh, Ooh. hello. So, hello. does anyone want to uh, contest? On what LM Gaming TV just said right there. Oh, okay. Ooh, maybe so we might see a, a, a statement there. Uh huh. We might see some, uh, you know, contradicting statements to counter what LM Gaming just said. So wait, the like, if you're gonna kill like Angeling, those are mini boss, right? What? Mini boss like uh, Ghost Ring, Angeling. Those yeah, are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so maybe I'm gonna do a number one mini boss guild. <laughs> Mini run. boss hunter. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Number one OBB hunting guild. OBB guild. Like that. Yeah, like no one is claiming that. So maybe I'm gonna claim that soon. Right? Uh -huh. Let's go. Uh -huh. Uh, maybe, how about me? I'm going to make a uh, a guild. Number one what? feeder. Feeder. Oh, wait. Oh. What are you gonna like feed or something? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Like in War uh, of or specifically or something? Or. Pets, maybe your number one feeder for your pets. Well, it can be, can especially be, right? because we have a new <laughs> pet. The pet. Yes, pet the pet for and feed the pet. Yes, and uh, we actually did that yesterday uh, oh. in CMME and CM Miko's team <clears throat> last night. So it's kind of late, like it's uh, around 8 p.m. when they started streaming. So it's the unusual time that they stream because yeah. they usually stream around 4 or 3 p.m. Yeah, I'm kind of late uh, as well on checking the, uh, what do you call this, the live. Um, I think they're at, uh, on on a mine something. I forgot the place. It's in a, it's Iron Rock where we're trying to yeah. get some uh, teddy bears. And fortunately you enough, oh, wait, fortunately wait, wait. enough okay. we were successful in actually getting that uh, teddy bear. Oh, okay. But by the way, I just want to do a quick shout out to uh, Lord Beriani from Dominari. He's actually pubbing our names while Ooh. while trying to defend. And after shock right now is shocking Dominari's uh, defense here. Ooh. And uh, Lord Beriani. Yes. Yes. And... All right. And uh, <laughs> after shock is actually just trying to push in. Yes. And um, that's what you can say. Lord Beriani has been pub killed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. But thank you for the pub. Thank you for the pub. Appreciate that. Alright. So yeah, speaking of guild names, MG, if you're going to make a guild, what will be your name again? Number one OBB. 
<laughs> number one, one yeah, number one OBB hunters. There you go. Uh, or number one mini boss, mini boss fighters. Uh, we just fight. We don't kill. You know, we just fight. We don't kill the boss. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, uh, I thought it will. I MG. I thought it will be the number one. Wait, wait. Clear with the highest death counter. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's gonna be my character. Like number yeah, that, that's one. That's going to be. It's actually you and CMM competing for that spot. Dude, dude. Um, if I'm gonna like create my main, uh, main character now, it's gonna be the meme god of GGH. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. So like, yeah. the memes is gonna be uh is gonna be so heavy that even other players can't uh you know sometimes the maybe sometimes can take it or something yes meme god well go. actually you know mg we're still on the topic between uh hashtag team cmme and hashtag oh dude team mg i, I, I thought that that All was right. actually okay done. no it's not yet done because right now we're talking about a different topic oh, okay. okay okay we are okay. going to talk about who let's is go. let's go who is the player with the most death counters of guys course. come on maybe so, we can uh, actually make a poll or something or hashtag steam mg yeah. If you think CMME has the most death counters and hashtag um, Team MG, if it or teams uh, CMME, if you think MG has more death counters, like if right you there. have like more death counts, you you will win or something. Uh -huh. or the lesser that counts. Well, the lesser is bet. <laughs> Dude, that's gonna unfair because last time I actually tanked uh, the Lord Knight well, for her. Oh, well, that's that's not that's not. Dude, our that goal. was unfair. And I got memed so hard, and she posted me. Uh huh. Oh, oh, what? They're going away. Wait, wait, wait. What? They're going out. They're going wait, wait, out. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, am I right? Is this my right prediction? Is it going to be there in a. Oh! Oh, holy shadow. Holy Adonis! shadow. Yeah, yeah, holy yeah, yeah, yeah. shadow. Actually, attack. Or Adon is actually attacking. Holy shadow castle right now. MG actually by Discord. Yeah. The Discord live is. Uh, oh, oh okay, 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 okay. Anyway, after shock is going to be here as well. Okay. Badrak is okay. here as well. So sword and Adonis is attacking Dominari right Wait. now. Let me just. This is pretty interesting, can, though. Um, can I jump inside uh, the Imperium now? Can I? Can I check? Uh, no, no. Uh, just stay uh, here. Just, just follow. Just follow. Just follow. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Dude, Ooh, pretty Dude, interesting that was right really here. Sneaky from Adonis, like, uh huh, like James Bond sneaky. Yeah, well, actually, well, well, Dominari was busy there in Scarlet Palace. They they actually got attacked though. They actually got attacked. Yeah. But uh, then again, we'll be uh, checking things out in a bit later on. But oh! there is a huge defense here the in the PM area uh, by Dominari. That so really this is going to be hard to actually penetrate this uh what do you call this uh defense here in the exactly. PM. So uh they just need to wait that classical pluck out MG uh, can you restart the discord live on my end. Yeah yeah. Anyway. Uh yeah, said said by G Gabriel right here, MG spicy background reveal. Oh my god. Hmm. Dude, you don't want to check that background. Like legit bro. Legit. Okay. Yes. Uh, let Let's not talk about MG yeah, background. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, Let's try to move on, bro. Like you know. It, it It's difficult. You cannot unsee what I just saw. Even digest right there. what you will. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's something. Yeah, yeah. If you If you see, you will not unsee anymore. So. Yep. Uh. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Something pretty let's, difficult let's to not... see. Anyway, let's move on. Said yeah. by, <laughs> by Gabriel right here. Fun fact. Uh, there was an old blue box corporation guild in the PRO before. Oh. 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 Okay. Ooh. Okay. That was, that okay. Was okay. He actually bad, gave me a good, uh, good idea about my guild name. Oh yeah, that would be a great idea though. But where will you hunt some o OBBs? You don't even have a good enough character yet, MG. Like where? I mean, like what monsters uh, do drop that? Well, you can hunt it from specific monsters, I believe. Well, I, I'm not sure which hunter, which monster you'll have the highest chance of getting some OBB. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty difficult if you're just going to try and catch some OBBs. Maybe pairing it up with other cards as well or having a uh, some specific cards. 
to get you some OBBs faster. Yes. Okay. OBB Corporation. That's actually yeah. a good idea. Well, you know, a mimic card can help, but you also need to kill a monster that drops OBB so you have higher chances, I think. Ah, okay. Yeah, thank yeah. you so much for the idea, Gabriel. Really appreciate that. The old blue box corporation. Yes. You're just you're just going to steal the name of no, another. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna steal that name. Okay. Yeah. I'm so gonna, what will be the name, bro? Yeah. Um. It's it's really tough. Like old blue box corporation. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. requiem drops OBB. So requiem? you can also check that out. Ah. Yes. Uh, requiem drops some uh, OBB. All right. So yeah, who do you think? Who do you think has the requiem the most <laughs> death <laughs> counters? Or who do you think has okay, more death counters? To topic. Is it going to be MG or CMM? You let us know what you think, guys, <laughs> in the chat. Okay. Okay, just so... to just to defend my side there during that time, that that live stream, I tried to defend everyone. You know, I tried to defend. I tried to tank uh, Lord of Death. Mm -hmm. And try to prevent uh, like a big disaster on that party. In all fairness, to uh, to my gunslinger, I think that's my gunslinger. Oh no, that's my rogue. Sorry. Yeah. So oh. I tried to dodge one attack, but I'm very un uh, unsuccessful on that one. I tried, bro. You know. Well, at least you <laughs> tried. Yes, you tried. I think that's how. That's, that's fine. <laughs> that's how you uh, like play a role on a party. What? As a okay. tanker. <laughs> Uh -huh. And actually, go to the entrance of this castle right okay, now. Okay, okay. Dominary is here, Sword is here, and Aftershock is actually outside Holy Shadow Castle, along with Opus Day. So they're really <laughs> planning on attacking Holy Shadow Castle right now. So this is pretty, pretty interesting. Again, it's been a long time since you've last seen Holy Shadow get attacked get by uh, yeah. a lot of uh, players right here. But Dominary is going to try and the retake this uh, spot right here. I think Dominary already separated their party into... Two yeah. specific uh, players into two. Uh, they have what? Oh, sorry, so we have destruction though. Oh. Coming from but uh, it will not really take down a lot of players right oh, there. They I think did? Got, uh, oh, that follow up. That follow up coming from. By... Oh, by, oh, by Horfrost. Yes, that overbrand though. Yeah, yeah. It's really important to have an uh, overbrand a Royal battle guard, RG, I yeah. believe. Yeah, not just. Not just um, uh, Royal Guards who use uh, Devotion or Sacrifice, <laughs> but actually uh, a crowd control Royal Guard is pretty, pretty important. Yeah. Because you you can take down a lot more people. You can uh, you can make your stack survive <laughs> yeah. a lot better. Actually. Right? I, think, uh, um, I think Dominary right now recognize that... Um, that this group right now that who is attacking them is capable on destroying the first line of their defense so that's why they put up a second one inside the preempt so i think that's a good um like a safety net on their side that they want to make sure that you know just in case our front line, uh, front defense fails they still have a backup inside so this is a really yes. good uh like decision making on the side of dominari like they're uh -huh. they're getting attacked by three guilds right now three guilds or four yeah, I think that's well, four, uh, yeah. yeah, you will see again uh, later on as uh, another castle has also been occupied. Oh, okay, okay. So let's not interesting. Let's not, uh, interesting. Let's not, <laughs> let's not uh, talk about yeah, that. But interesting. hi uh, to Raymar. Hello. What's up, hamburger guy? Gabriel in before furry calendar pinups. What are you talking about? So Gabriel there you said, go. strong defense okay. hold by Domi in their pile so, castle. Yeah. Wow. But Adonis is actually just pushing in right now. Opus they will be there as well and a lot of uh, defense here. They got part the entrance. Right oh, but Arrow Storms will actually land there on Dominari. After Magnetic shock? Earth will connect right there in the entrance, but no. Some uh, slow dance will get uh, casted right here at the entrance by Dominari. So it's actually good that you have a walking wonder that's actually active, not just for um <laughs> Bro. Some uh, gypsies kiss yeah. or some uh, Lokis right there. Yeah, yeah. So it's actually pretty good that you have a walking wonder. 
An active, an active, not just active. a walking, yeah. an active wonder AR kill. Usually, the wonders uh, that we're seeing is like kind of AFK, something for the proc. They way. they mostly use wonders just to you know cast Loki. Yeah. Um, to probably cast some gypsies, guess in their staff. But aside from that, we <laughs> don't see wonders get used that often. Yep. So uh, yeah, we might see. If uh, if actually if I see a wonder get used in Warf Imperium, that is walking, that is active, that's going to be a pretty cool wonder right there. <laughs> Again, uh, maybe casting some severe racer just to add some a little bit of DPS, <laughs> or maybe an active slow dance right there, like what Dominari is doing. Uh, a moving locust probably. A moving wow. just uh, just moving with that uh, with that minstrel. Yeah. That's kind of mm. or that maestro, yeah. I think that's going to be pretty cool, though. Just just go to the stack of your of your opponent, then just use that Loki spell. But it's going to be pretty hard to coordinate because again, you need to be di direct close to each other, like uh, beside each other. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so I think uh, we are seeing a consistent push coming from Adonis right now. Adonis is still contesting, trying to. Uh, I think they're trying to uh, break the defense here on the on the entrance. While on the side of our three shock, we're seeing one or two aftershock um, joining the clash as well. And right now, Adonis is still sustaining the damage. And one Adonis is still trying to survive on the damage of uh, Dominari. And Dominari is just they're just not giving any space for any players. They just want to take every single player out of their uh, map. <laughs> Yes, and uh, a pretty, pretty solid defense here coming from Dominari. And uh, yeah, again, guys, if you want to shout out your friends and uh, your guildmates probably here in the comment section, just uh, chat it here in the live stream uh, because uh, we, we're going to read your comments. It's going to be a very long night uh, on our and 30 minutes defense here yep more for uh, dominari <laughs> to actually hold this castle yes but uh, yeah we'll see later on if uh this ca this castle finally gets conquered or will dominari <laughs> still be able to defend this again uh dominari has a lot of players right now so they have a lot of firepower to attack uh or defend uh, this castle yep yep and yes, I think uh, I'm not sure if they still have like another stack inside, but right now, um, maybe definitely they have another stack inside. Because again, even though that they have a really they have a really good defense on on the first warp or first portal on this one, um, if Do if Adonis is gonna push on this one and manage to wipe like few players on this one, and a follow up by aftershock aftershock can actually sneak in and break the uh, castle so another a line of defense can actually be a really good help here on the side of dominari mm -hmm. and a consistent push coming from multiple guilds uh, we're seeing nonsense opus day adonis aftershock um they're not actually giving up they just want to contest this and make a do uh, make dominari um you know stay in this uh in this map yeah, maybe some uh, continuous push. Not really a full push yet coming from these skills. Just uh, some random players just going in. It's like uh, they're auditioning for something. But Arrow Storms again will connect there on the side of Dominari. I believe no one got taken down probably because they have that defending aura on. And yeah, Dominari has uh, some serious firepower here. You can see they have some uh, two mechanics just waiting. Actually, three mechanics waiting there at yeah. the side. Well, they have a lot of uh, rune knights, or yeah, rather, yeah, rune knights. I can see like uh, three rune knights right here, yeah. just waiting to cast the dragon's breath uh, <laughs> against their opponents. But so yeah. yeah, a lot of firepower and a lot of sorcerers though to deal uh, some diamond dust damage and uh, P wave. Yes, but again, um, regarding the positioning on this right stack of uh, Dominari. I think uh, if you have like a mechanic, like one or two or three, even three mechanics on your side, trying to push, maybe you can land a quick uh, SD here or some solid destruction. Hmm. I think uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe like the guilds needs to do if if they're actually coordinating with each other. Like if Adonis can actually uh, take the first push, land the some solid destruction, then another follow up by other guilds. Maybe that could work. 
well it will work right there but uh yeah we we haven't seen a very very consistent push coming from uh, the other girls yet they're just uh like what i said they're just auditioning so we might see a full push coming from these girls later uh this is still early so they might be just uh warming up in other castles right now mg yeah. but uh speaking of dominari though I do want to commend again Dominari for reaching the top 8 of Ragnarok Asia Masters 2022. Oh, yeah. Uh, they had uh, two guilds who actually reached the top 8. <laughs> right. So I got to commend the Dominari guild right yeah, here. Yeah, definitely. Like, um, starting from the top 32 down to the uh, semis, like, it's mm -hmm. it's actually a no joke. Like, it's really hard to uh, push through, especially you're, you're actually dealing with the veterans of uh, like 7v7s. Um, speaking of being veteran, they're actually doing that for I think for years now, or, or something. Yeah, well, DGLS has been doing the seven versus seven tournaments for years, so it's no joke. Yeah, they are really re good at it. They know what to do, and yeah, like what I said a lot of times before, it's pretty difficult for GGH teams to uh, to push through, <coughs> uh, especially with the experience of GGL. Uh, they took it to the next level. They've shown us a great match, actually. Especially in the finals. Yeah. Um, I still cannot forget what happened in the finals right there. Uh, MG, a comeback victory. Dude. A two versus five victory. With that Sura and Sorcerer doing the work from wrist against um, Arcane. In the yeah. finals of Ragnarok Asia Masters. It's pretty, pretty awesome to see. And uh, it got me inspired to, to work on... Uh, playing my character better right <clears throat> well to be fair like i was really shocked on because to be i mean to be honest james like um starting from top 32 um i really uh like how arcane plays like i think during that time like arcane is really good on outstrating or outmaneuvering their opponents during that uh first leg second leg and to the actually to the to the finals then a sudden shift of um, aggressiveness and style coming from wrist especially that um that 2v4 scenario that actually uh, gave a huge boost on this, uh, oh 2v5 that 2v5 wrist versus arcane the moment that they actually won on the 2v5 that sura actually gained their uh, that uh, that super confidence on on the entire match so I think that momentum gave them that uh, that push to take out the entire uh, score out of the hands of uh, our game. They were really good. Really good. Super good. That's why I want to play Sura. <laughs> well, if you want to play Sura, you need to level up right now. <laughs> <laughs> Another... you, need, you need to work on your yeah, yeah. So well, like MG now. Sura, let's go guys. Hashtag MG Sura, let's go. Uh, because based on experience, it's not easy to level up a Sura. Again, oh. I'm not discouraging you. I'm just saying it will Guys, take come on. Any, a long any time. Guys, from our viewers? MG Sura, let's go. No, no, no. no. Uh, oh still, it's going to be MG Gunslinger, guys. Gunslinger. Right? Okay. Uh -huh. We're going to be stuck there. We're going to be Shout stuck Shout out there. to Dominari. Let's uh, Def versus GGH. Actually, uh, a lot of guilds are attacking the Holy Shadow Castle right now, which Dominari is defending. So they are pretty do they are doing a pretty good job in defending that castle. Yeah, right? their defense is a no joke. Like mm -hmm. especially the pressure coming from different guilds right now. Like wow. They're they're just showing us like they're actually dominating on uh, on the defense. Mm -hmm. Well we haven't seen a full commit of a push yet. Mm -hmm. from uh from these guilds that actually are trying to attack but uh, later on you know we might see some attacks coming from you know adonis sword and probably aftershock opus day as well mm -hmm. you know together they will attack probably the holy shadow castle but right now uh it's still too early to see what is going to happen for tonight's warp imperium session again we are here in fat Good castle right now this is the home of adonis and I'm kind of yes. missing the the home or the owners, the homeowner, the yes, homeowner of Kremhild, the Kremhild yes. Castle. Because yes. uh, if I see Kremhild Castle, all I think about is the Guild Arsenal. Actually. Yes, maybe they're just taking a break right now. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, because uh, again, like, Warframe Karam is pretty, pretty expensive, but it's been a long time since we've last seen them in Warframe. Yeah, yeah. But again, um, mm. definitely they're gonna like. I think they're gonna. Ooh, wait, what? Oh, sword sword has. Tarring? They have more numbers now. Well, it's been like that probably uh, since uh, since Saturday. Uh, I've, I've spectated the War of Imperium just to watch things <laughs> unfold. So I have some more things to say here in our War of Imperium session for today. Yeah, yeah. But yeah it's uh, pretty, pretty interesting to see um, the battles here from uh, these two Yellow Emblem guilds. Oh, oh make, that, make the Sword Guild a little bit... Uh, uh, like gold? Goldish like co color? Goldish, yeah. I'm planning... Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try to apply on sword, maybe. Soon, if I got my Sora up. Like, if... I mean, if anyone wants to accept me. <laughs> their well, guild. All you need to do I, is I can talk scout. to Badrack, yeah. probably. Yeah, I can scout. Um, uh. I can curse circle. 50-50% curse circle, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but MG, yeah. do you have a Sora? No, I don't that have a you don't have. <laughs> <laughs> That you don't have, yes. all right. But definitely, uh, uh, I'm really pumped up. Uh, the uh, last Sunday, actually, um, I was really uh, motivated on on playing uh, different classes. It's actually an I uh, like an opener, right? Opener, um, uh, that finals actually. Like I, I'm, I didn't know that you can actually use those classes on that level. So it was really good. Like it was really fast paced, yet it's very technical and precise as well. You know. So mm -hmm. yeah, I was just fell. I just fell in love on how how the how the system works on on the on the seven v seven. So hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Okay, here we go. Oh, so we sound destruction card for Opus D right there as a daughter just went out. Oh, they still have and numbers. Opus Day is going there. Rolling colors coming from Adonis. They are wiping out the stack there of Opus Day with that rolling cutter as a Opus Day just trying to survive magnetic earth on the floor. And I think that <laughs> magnetic earth is going to be on the benefit of, of Adonis right there. But uh, yeah. no additional skills will get casted right there as uh, oh yeah yeah. Um, I think that. That sorcerer just used that magnetic earth or coming from Opus Day just to survive. Yeah. Because yeah. again, she spotted that there is a warlock, there is a sorcerer, and there are there is a mechanic just uh, in that stack. So mm -hmm. he probably doesn't want to do damage against Adonis because maybe he doesn't have some attack equipment on him right now. Yeah. So that's why uh, he's just a support uh, sorcerer. So probably it's going to be the first, depending on your build. Yep. So if you are a, you know, heavy damage dealer sorcerer like the other players or other sorcerers of Dominari, mm -hmm. yeah, um, you you need to get to know Celine probably. You need to, you need to introduce Celine to me, bro. Like I'm, like, kind of curious now. Uh, you will probably you need to not. Guys, guys, <laughs> let, let, let me ask you for our viewers Entry. right here. Hashtag let me, let me ask MG you a question, cool. guys. All right, this is for MG. Do you think MG has the chance to know Celine? Definitely. Let Let's us go. know. Definitely. Let us know in the chat because I'm I'm a ninety eight percent sure MG won't know who Celine is. Oh my god, the percentage, James. That was so high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because a lot of players, a lot of players don't know who Celine is right now. Okay. They know who it is, but they haven't been introduced <laughs> to each other yet, so... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure... No, I'm curious now, like 100% curious now. I'm gonna research. Well, I'm pretty sure you won't know who Celine is. Does... Does EMME know Celine? CM CM Miko knows who Celine is. I am not sure about CM Emmy. Okay, okay, fair enough. Can uh -huh. I raise that topic on the uh, on the, on the next topic talk? Uh, so they can actually reveal who is Celine is. Can I do that? Actually, I, I, actually, are, are I we allowed to do that? <laughs> you are the only person who don't know who oh Celine my God. is. It's like missing a lot of things in uh, in GGH. Oh my God. 
Yeah, guys, guys, all right. Yeah. For for our viewers right here, please comment. Please tell MG who Celine is right now. Celine, tell me. Come on, come on, guys. Please let, please let MG know who help Celine me. is. Help me. You guys help me, please. Because a lot of people. If you know, help me, I, I'll put a new code. I'll put a new code. <laughs> especially <laughs> the magic damage dealers, they know who Celine is. Right. Is this the five? Is, it, is this the five B one or no? Please let MG know, guys. Is this the five B one? My head is hurting. The five billion word Celine or no? <laughs> oh my god! Uh, okay, right. okay. Before I change the code, you you guys tell me who Celine is. Come on, let's go. Okay. Uh, I, I Celine sure. meeting his gunslinger. Hmm. New content. No. Let's go, Gabriel. Let's go. <laughs> really? Okay. Before I change the code, you tell me, guys, who Celine is. Then let's. Uh, then after that, we change the code. Let's go. Or maybe I can put like two codes if you tell me. Let's go. I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. <coughs> please help me am, out. Am right I here. allowed to know who Celine is, or is it yes, gonna be a secret? Yeah, character? You're, you're supposed to is know. He a, is she a secret character or something? No. <laughs> Like well, an, probably an NPC, probably, like a yeah. quest NPC, something. Oh my goodness, guys! Please help me out right here. Who's Celine? Celine? Yeah, oh. uh, because Celine has an accessory and headgear that you must uh, use if you Dude, want to I, get stronger. Okay, so that's a... the 5B one. Okay, okay, that's a 5B something. Okay. <laughs> as, as a as a magic damage dealer. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think I remember uh, you talking something about that, but I don't yeah. know that that he actually or she actually exists. Or are we talking about the items or a person? That's not talking about right now. What? I'm just having a hard time here, guys. Like I have if a lot you know of my struggle. Right you'll you'll know my struggle when you're on on the other end trying to explain to MG who Celine is. Gunslinger. All right. Celine meeting his gunslinger. Is that a clue? Do I need to be no. like Sherlock Holmes to figure it out or something? No. No? Okay. Not really. Anyway. Anyway. You don't, uh, guys, you don't like two codes? You tell me who Celine is? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, since uh, anyway, yeah, we yeah. are just watching what's happening right now here in uh, specific castles, actually here in... Yes. Holy Shadow, a lot of players are of Act Aftershock and Dominaria are here, but not not one of them is actually entering the castle. They're just waiting right here. So maybe we will see something happen here in the Holy Shadow Castle. But right now, nothing is happening as of yet. But yes. of course, uh maybe soon our players will get to know who Celine is also as well. And MG will know like, when that happens. <laughs> like, again. I feel really so, bad right now. Like, I think I'm the uh -huh. only person who doesn't know Celine is. So I well, feel really uh, bad right now. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe some of the players don't know who Celine is. But yeah, it's it's something you should know, MG. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, see, Gabriel said she wears a ribbon and a special magic access magical accessory. See, Gabriel knows who Celine is. Gabriel knows who Celine is. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, let's uh, let me talk about the how you can get Celine in the future. But this is kind of similar. But Celine isn't going to be found here as of yet, because the diabolic egg is still available oh, in the cash shop. Yes. You can obtain special items like a sealed Stormy Night card, cloth of protection that a lot of people want, some ascended weapon box, and so much more. Actually, people are opening some uh, Diabolic Eggs because, um, you know, they want a, uh, in, uh, a Chance Stone Synthesis box as well. This is something that you should uh, you should have if you want to combine your Enchant mm -hmm. or Enchant Stones into something oh, like a the lot guitar. better. Which... Or having, having to roll once again to get uh, something better. Oh my god. All right. I really... Like, I really suck on rolling eggs. <laughs> to uh -huh. be honest. Yeah. And yeah, some um, awesome items as well. Like the clergy nurse cap. Uh, it seems like a lot of players are looking to get some a clergy uh, a clergy nurse cap. Probably to increase their healing uh, healing prowess uh, for their teammates. Probably oh, okay. For That's good. 
Uh, it's mostly useful for PVM, and you can use it for PvP as well. But uh, let's be honest: who uses healing? I know one. In, I know in one. PVM. So yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's uh, casting cannot be interrupted if you have oh, a clergy good. nurse cap. Yeah. So it's also <laughs> a huge uh, benefit if you are a uh, archbishop or even. Even an acolyte can use this. Actually, mm -hmm. you just need to be level fifty in order for you to use that. Yes. And Cardui robe is also up in the diabolic egg, and it's one of the armors you can get uh, right here that is pretty useful. But you need to pair it with an angeling card for you to have uh, you get the most out of it. All right. Oh, because if okay. you have an angeling egg and you equip it there in the Cardui robe, uh, it's paired together. Uh, you will have an, 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 an unfrozen effect plus you have some uh, uh, a holy property immediately mm. holy property armor which has a lot of resistance and other what do you call this other elements oh well, that's right. good like I and like this guitar by Michelle right here hey, what? what's that the guitar Every's birthday is on the 25th so happy no! birthday MG no no <laughs> <laughs> Dude, why are you bringing All right. All right. Okay, so MG, MG is almost out of the calendar, guys. Just letting you know. Oh, God. It's almost out of the calendar. Oh, hey, God, no. Why do that to me, <laughs> Michelle? I thought we are like, buddies. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I do want to explain what the Cloth of protect Protection is all about. Yep. For those of you guys who are not aware, um, Protect or... Protect Feathers came out in the last egg. Oh. Or uh, the hollow? Feather, feather of Protection, what's it called here? Um, yeah, Protect Feathers. It's, it's named Protect Feathers. Came out in the last egg. Mm -hmm. In a. Uh, in the. Oh, no, no, no. In the previous egg. Because uh, I remember the previous egg, uh, there's a uh, Celine uh, Brooch and the. Uh, the one out before that is the one with the protect feathers. So I think it's the Tango egg, I believe. Uh, it's a Tango egg, egg that has the protect feathers. It's all it's a paired with the one that came out right now, which is the cloth of protection. Mm -hmm. Which you, if you have both, you have a lot of uh, benefits, especially if you have high vit. All right. So example, you have 120 vit. <laughs> You have both the Claw of Protection and the Protect Feathers. You get plus 100 defense, plus 100 oh. end def, and vit plus 10. But oh, it's good. A lot that's of good. effects though. You are really, really protected by those uh, feathers and cloth right there. So that's why a lot of people want to have a um, Claw of Protection. So MG, hide the Diabolic Egg right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. As an Archbishop main, I feel attacked. Oh, the, the clergy nurse cap? Well, uh, nobody uses healing skills that much in Warf Imperium. But uh, for PVM, it's it's really, really used. And very useful. Especially mm -hmm. when you're trying to tank um, some high damage MVPs. Uh, or so doing some instances with yeah. your... With your with your party mates it's pretty pretty useful and you'll get a lot of uh, you'll save up a lot of potions <laughs> yeah right. what, what I really like about this uh, this egg is the uh, costume diabolic rock guitar that's, Ooh. that looks good that's uh -huh. yeah that's actually one of the items that I really want to get yeah so... actually pair that up with the, the costume from the ascended uh, ascend, ascend the next level event from the wonder or the gypsy it has the mic so oh. you're going to be like a rock star. Oh. Yeah. But unfortunately for you, MG, you didn't, didn't do that event. That. Yeah, so I didn't do that. So, event. yeah. Uh, you won't get the chance to get that. Yeah. I'm not bike. actually a, a big fan of costumes, to be fair. But um, once I, I really like something, um, I try to uh, like draw and try my uh, RNG. Uh, like last time, right? The FAW, the Fallen Angel Wing. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I, I yep. tried to get that and I spent a lot of eggs trying to get that. Mm -hmm. And apparently, I didn't get any. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, it, it must you're, you must be unlucky. 
Yeah. <laughs> about That's what I call it. Talking about That's what being unlucky. <laughs> Well, my How's your my draws are a little bit better. Well, I'm not really ah, that yeah, good in uh, drawing or RNG with the eggs, but I'm um, I have a I'm not good with enchanting costumes as well because I have a high fail rate in enchanting costumes, <laughs> even though they are 50-50. The honesty of James. High fail but rate. you know, enchanting or, okay. or refining though, refining I have a high chance of uh getting it to a high enchant or high refinery mm -hmm. so that's where my luck is yeah oh, okay that's good still, refining still good. yeah but you mg your luck is uh no. somewhere to be seen like my luck to be fair uh, i'm very lucky with uh the people that i know like for example i i, I don't Ooh. have luck i don't have luck on um on on rng like sp specifically on the eggs i try to draw a lot like seriously a lot um, since I'm very unlucky on that, I was very lucky that um, most of my viewers actually uh, helped me on on my character's uh, gear. Actually, uh -huh. that's where my luck is. But speaking well, of luck on like opening something, no, nah, I'm not lucky. Uh, but hold on to that thought, MG. Uh, actually, Sword Guild is nearing the the Imperium of uh, the Amp Room of okay, okay. Adonis right here in Fadrid Castle. Yeah, let me jump there. All right, so said by Gabriel right here. Costumes are a true end game items. Yes, I agree with you, Gabriel. <laughs> and yeah, anyway, uh, Adon uh, actually, Sword is actually pushing in on Adonis right now. You can see the damage output of uh, Sword. They're just trying to hold Adonis right now here. Curse Circle will get casted. And plus 100, very, very strong, is actually close to the stack there. Curse oh, Circle will oh, connect right there on Adonis. As you can see, someone got co uh, caught. By that manhole of Adonis oh, right wow. there, as uh, Adonis is just going to try and uh, survive this bout as uh, we don't have a lot of members of Sword left here at the MP. And yeah, they're trying. MG, to... yo, I know where your luck is though. Okay, you tell I me. I'm pretty sure the players know where it is. As well. Okay, your luck is in uh, your room. Your, your luck. Because your rogue has luck stat. Yes. For some reason. Of course, I love criticals. Criticals. That's actually where my luck is. I actually put like thirty luck on it. Invested that. Uh, invested uh -huh, uh -huh. that thirty uh, stats. Well, who knows? You might be lucky while uh, putting some luck stats into your rogue. But the Alminari is actually going to push in on. Adonis right now as well. Dragon's Breath will get casted here by Dominari as he will get wiped out really quickly. We have uh, some Bloody Lust getting casted but will not connect right there. Actually, it will oh, connect but the... Land Protector. Magnetic Wait, Earth Diamond on the dust? floor to actually remove that Bloody Lust. Oh. As uh, Dominari is actually pushing in on uh, uh, Adonis right here. And you can see uh, another guild which has a uh, very inappropriate name player. Uh, is. Pushing in on the castle of Adonis here in Fat Grid, and they are going to attack along with Atoy, the the genetic and the Yawawa, the the Shadow Chaser. Okay, I think they don't have like enough breakers to uh, take this down. So maybe uh, I think Adonis can still save this. But again, they have um, two Shadow Chasers on the side of Dominari, and they have a genetic as well. Um, I think the genetic summoned uh, like few familiars there trying to break the Imperium. But Nonsense? here comes the uh, backup coming from Adonis. And I think Bersiculo is not moving here. Mm -hmm. But the mechanic of uh, Adonis is trying to uh, roam around. Yes, there is a nonsense. There is a nonsense player there. Okay, I think uh, this Shadow Chaser is just holding the uh, stack of Adonis. We're not seeing any Swiss all destruction. Oh, there you go. Mm hmm but yeah psychic wave is going to be pretty punishing if you get hit with that especially with that uh sorcerer with that uh high dps damage you can see earth a uh, wave will connect as well diamond dust crystallize i think corpus is crystallized right yeah, now crystallized. yeah because he is not moving and that's what that's something you cannot see and uh for some reason this sorcerer has a uh, he has like a dps very very fast uh cast rate right here in the dps Probably step on the braggy of Adonis right there. Kingo getting caught. Just trying to survive the attack here 
of uh, this sorcerer. They're having a sorcerer bow right here. Oh, but he will get damage and taken out right there. And yeah, Dominari will probably take a hold of this castle as Atoy is just uh, trying to break this with a knife and along with the Sarah pet earlier though. Okay. Mm -hmm. So but I, I'm not busy. sure where the where the <laughs> Sarah homunculus is right now. Yes. Ata is really busy at the Imperium. So right now, um, Adonis is trying to come back on their castle, trying to hold and eliminate that uh, sorcerer, and that sorcerer is still alive. So I think uh, they're trying to uh, set up now. They're trying to delay one uh, Shadow Chaser from Dominare. is still uh, trying to keep them uh, away from the Imperium. And again, the sorcerer is trying to do damage on the side of Adonis. Adonis is still res um, is keep on uh, responding back from their uh, flag warp. And yes, Atoy was really successful on breaking that Imperium. Yes, the Shola Vesa breaking the M, quite interesting. Yeah, the summon legion skill. By that yeah. homunculus. Alright. As Fat Grid will get taken here by Dominari. And I'm pretty sure they still have a lot of players defending their own castle. They, they just push out a few. Mm -hmm. Just to harass the castle there. By uh, of Adonis. And meanwhile here. The entrance of uh, Holy Shadow. It's still intact. Dominari is still. Uh, defending along with. Uh, their alliances right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, yeah, speaking of pets, because uh, we actually saw a homunculus S. This is not <laughs> this is uh, different, but it's something that we should mention as well because currently we have a pack the pets event in uh, ROGGH. Oh. And uh, yeah, Gypsa or Gisa, he seeks your help to hunt monsters. Speak to N NPC. Uh, Jisa to uh, get daily quest monster hunt mission. You'll need to eliminate 20 of the given monster. After you have completed the quest, speak to NPC Dang Dang Yi to be awarded with one event token. You can use one event token to exchange for a taming set and get two random taming items and one random pet accessory. Mm -hmm. Alright. So if, if you haven't checked it out yet, or if you haven't done the event, uh, there is a preview of the event by Siamikon Sim ME last night. So it's also here in the Ragnarok Online GGH uh, page. You can check it out by just scrolling down. Mm -hmm. It's uh, streamed by CMME Siamiko last night. It's pretty easy. Um, I believe uh, their quest was hunting uh, Nightmare Verits and Anubis. Oh, so they're not that hard to kill, and yeah, some of some players help them out as well. And yeah, they they actually also tried to capture some pets last night. Yeah, uh, it was a whisper and teddy bear, but I believe only a teddy bear was successful though. The whisper, I think they got two on that one. On the, the whisper. Yeah, the whisper. I think the whisper didn't push. Didn't okay. push through. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. They didn't get a whisper though. But they did receive a teddy bear egg, and I believe uh, that's a better pet you can yes. have. To be fair, yes. Mm -hmm. And if you do want to check, because we have a cute pet update, there is a link in the pinned comment of our stream. So mm -hmm. make sure to check it out here. Uh, in the pinned comments area or pinned comment section yes. in the chat. Yo, all right. Mm. Okay. Have you tried the event, MG? Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. Not you yet. can do it with your rogue, though. Yep, with high luck. <laughs> your, your, your rogue with high luck. <laughs> but yes. if you want to just capture some pets, again, these pets give <laughs> some benefits to your character. <laughs> yep. Especially if they're cordial or loyal. Mm -hmm. uh, you can check it out by vi visiting again the cute pet update link there in the pinned comment yes. again because you can see the stats, the bonuses of our pets right here. Like the pouring, if it's cordial, luck plus two, crit plus one. If it's loyal, luck, luck plus three, crit oh. plus one. And several effects for the teddy bear. Actually, the teddy bear gives a max SP plus 100. If mm -hmm. it's loyal, 
and for the Whisper, it's flea plus 10 and I'm able to cast level 1 hiding if it's loyal. Oh, All I think right, I, so... I need the, the Whisper for my rogue. But you already have hiding skill. I, know, I mean the, the, the flea rate. The flea? Well, there are better spells. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think. Oh, we also tried capturing Willow. Or CMME and CMME go. I, I, I tried first yeah. Um, <laughs> It gives int plus 3 if you capture a Willow. So, uh, But unfortunately, we were not successful in capturing Willows. So that's Is why it after... hard to, cap to capture a pet? Or... Well, it, every pet has a chance rate. Or, or rather, a success rate in capturing them. Oh. So it differs per pet. Right? Okay. It's it's kinda it's kinda the event is kinda like not really for everyone because mm -hmm. not a lot of players want to take care of pets. But it also gives a benefit to those players who want to add additional firepower to their character, add additional stats <laughs> or effects. Just by taking care of a pet, you know, you can have those additional effects that you are longing for. Like for example, uh, if you have a Katarina von Blood headgear, if you successfully get a succubus pet which is mm -hmm. not included in the event by the way or oh, the only pet included here is the incubus not the succubus but if you finally get a succubus pet with the katarina von blood it's a uh, pretty useful because you have a yeah. uh, aside from the hp leech you get some recovery from uh from from the from the combination of the two uh, that's good that's really good Okay. Yeah, and that's for HP and SP, for both HP and SP right there. Yep. Because the Incubus pet, if it's uh, loyal, you get the max SP plus 5% and uh, mm -hmm. low chance to drain SP by 1% of physical damage dealt. So it's pretty useful, especially if you are a... Let's say, you don't have a Rideward hat, but you have an Incubus mm -hmm. pet. And you're trying to deal with monsters and you are a guillotine cross using rolling mm -hmm. cutter mm -hmm. it's pretty useful because you, you you can save up on the blue herbs or blue potions yeah. or sp potions right there oh so again right. additional stats is gonna be uh, added uh, to your character as long as you have the specific pets that you can actually uh, capture and it can actually boost as well your, your survivability plus attack as well so that's this is actually a good patch, to be fair. Mm -hmm. But but it's not for everyone though. Oh, I've added Castle MG entrance. Okay. Entrance oh, by the way, this is crash. Nemesis Armada. Nemesis Armada is just, um, by the way, asking if anyone Hohen. wants to, uh, um, to GVG them. Oh, in Hohen Chonggo. Yeah, yeah. They're actually posting oh, if someone can attack them. Uh huh. And right now though, here in <laughs> Fadrid Castle, Aftershock is here, Opus Day as well. And they are actually occupying the entrance of this castle right now, MG. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, this is really good. Like, um, personally, if they actually watch the uh, the Ragnarok Asia Masters, they can actually learn a lot from, from other guilds as well. So they can actually apply um, several uh, approach on how they can actually deal with engagement or disengage. So I think um, some of our guilds actually watch the uh, Ragnarok Asia Masters as well. That's why some of them are, their movement are kind of aggressive. So that's what I really like about um, watching those veterans plays and those guilds actually participating on those types of tournaments. You can actually learn and adapt the, the strategies and uh, approach on how they, can, uh, how they can engage and punish the enemies. That's good. Well, yeah, it's an eye-opener for a lot of people. It is. Well. Because they can learn a lot from just watching the, the 7 vs 7 fights in Ragnarok Asian Masters. Especially for the players of Ragnarok <laughs> Online GGH. Yes, yes. Yeah. Since uh, it, it's 7 vs 7 is kind of a new concept for a lot of players for of uh, ROGGH. Mm -hmm. uh, since it's the first time to compete in uh, such a high level yes. battle against, uh, a veteran, against veteran teams mm -hmm. in that regard. So it's pretty interesting, but yeah, um, this is a question that a lot of players are asking though. Uh, mm -hmm. 
since uh, we are just watching uh, these players uh, battle out here in the entrance of Falcon Castle. Yep. Again, uh, I think we've talked about this in the previous War of Imperium sessions Ouch. as well. Yeah. <laughs> it, it just this this War of Imperium stream kind of turned into a podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, well, I mean, anyway, it's it's still uh, yeah, it's under the topic. topic. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and uh, I think our viewers can uh, get in on that as and well. Really, yeah. But a lot of players are actually wanting uh, or want to have like a GGH only seven versus seven match. Oh, or, interesting. Yeah, uh, G GGH only seven versus like seven seven tournament. Seven. Yeah, because I believe uh, some of them are eager to compete against the 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 veteran players or veteran teams of the other gravity servers as well yeah i think that's gonna be really good um even me to be to be fair it's just if if there's gonna be a chance again to have like a 7v7 yes i agree with the people to have a 7v7 in uh in our server specifically for our server first again um it's it's pretty obvious that the moment that they saw the the seven v seven GGH versus GGL, it actually gave their uh give them that idea that oh, you know maybe I can try maybe I can uh I I can try on the second time or maybe I can compete because I didn't qualify on the first round. So yes, I think that's gonna be really interesting and I think a lot of people will be will be joining. Uh, on the 7v7 tournament um, for for the GGH. Yeah. Yes. And actually, you can move in uh, closer to the other players as we well uh, here, MG. Yep. You can see Sword Guild just uh, maintaining their stack here at the entrance of uh, mm -hmm. Hadrid Castle. But yeah, um, like what you said though, a lot of players are eager to compete in 7v7 and yeah. a lot of uh, GGH teams are willing to participate in a 7 versus 7 matchup but let's see what GGH uh, yes, has definitely. in mind because I believe uh, you know something spicy might come up and uh, everyone is going to be surprised Ooh. by what's going to happen right there yes but yeah um, how about our viewers right here what, what are your thoughts uh, is it is it a good idea to have like a 7 versus 7 tournament for GGH only or it's also great to have a 7 versus 7 tournament against other uh, against GGL again or probably other gravity game servers yeah maybe I think uh, either way like as long as uh, the competition um, is there and someone uh, is still supporting like uh, the community plus the uh, you know the CMs as well I think it will actually be it can actually be uh, become a uh, lo you know like an esports like i think uh, that's what they're trying to uh, to push through on this one like an esports for ragnarok that's gonna be really good like a consistent events 7v7s and hopefully we can actually see some uh like server inter um qualifiers for the servers then after that maybe battling ggl again maybe right. yeah and then maybe yeah. they can actually invite or, may, uh, or maybe you know mg something more interesting like is that some localized events for seven versus dude, seven matches that's gonna be, be insane good, like seriously like the og like the old school art tournaments like one uh one region like i remember last time like one region versus another region then championship oh that's, that's going to be pretty interesting that's so a yeah. lot of things to look OG. forward to yeah. because again you know, um, things are still possible. Mm -hmm. Things are possible. Let's not close our doors into other aspects, of course, yes. of uh, GGH. But yeah, a lot of things um, will come in RO GGH as, you know, we have uh, the, the GGH is uh, constantly updating and dishing out more events for the yes. community. Yes. All right. And right now, though, Opus Day Opus is going Day. to be here at Fadgrid, uh, trying to eliminate some members of Sword Guild. Actually, one Royal Guard of Sword oh. got eliminated right here while that um, that uh, Guilting Cross is trying uh, to survive and attacking, though, a member of Opus Day. I think that Guilting Cross uh, is, uh, is uh, Bella. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, but, you know, for some reason, uh, I, I saw, I saw... I heard that um, people 
people call that uh that that name uh three elder three l three l three l oh three l yeah oh that's good it can be bella that's three l or three l i three l could be dude could be it could be right? it i don't know be. Be. It, it it depends on how the how the person made that character but anyway yes. sword is going to be still here at the entrance of Gabby sword Castle was, Aftershock yes. they have that mechanic and that genetic just uh, dishing out some acid bombs Mandragora Howling getting casted there and ooh that uh, acid bomb is not hitting a warlock earlier yeah. Numa is on the floor here for that uh, ranger but will survive that as in bombs will miss Adonis is going to be here at the entrance of Hadgrid right now while uh, sword uh, they still have that the Warlock Earth Strain failed to cast right there mm -hmm. as Adonis will take a hold of the entrance of Fat Grid right now. Yes. And said by Gabriel right here, MG, imagine Sword joining 7 vs 7 also with their Battalion of Royal Guards. Well, 7 vs 7 has their limits. You cannot oh, yeah. use um, multiple, the same class. Same yeah, class. You cannot uh, repeat the same class. Right? Okay. But yeah, going to that uh, statement of Gabriel, like if you're if you're gonna have like a seven stack class, like one class, seven uh, seven players is gonna play it, James. Like what class is gonna be? If you're gonna put that on a seven v seven, for example, like seven royal guards, seven warlocks, for example, maybe. Uh, that, that's not. That's not seven versus seven. That's not a standard seven versus seven. Yeah, but, but yeah. you know, it, it, it might happen. It, <laughs> there, there, there might be an event like that. Yeah. But it's going to be chaotic. Imagine seven warlocks without a uh, yeah. mag without magic Bragg. strings or something. Yeah. Without braggy. <laughs> or imagine a battle of seven sorcerers, everyone just casting that magnetic earth. Yeah, like how many magnetic earth? Like one each. Uh huh. <laughs> it's going to be pretty chaotic. Yeah. And it's not going to be a standard 7 vs 7 anymore. Yep. But said by Gabriel again, once maybe uh, if participants are like strictly one set representing each guild, unless you guys find having like a group of seven members from the same guild. I think it really depends on how yeah. the participating mechanics or the or qualifying the mechanics yeah. will be. Yeah, but that's possible. Uh, as well. Yeah, that's actually. Yeah, that is possible. Well. That is possible. And yeah, let us know your thoughts in the suggestions and let us know in the chat as well. All right, you can type in the chat or <laughs> post it in the suggestions tab in Discord. I believe there is a suggestions tab in Discord as well. Yes. If you haven't joined the Discord server of ROGGH, you must. You must. You must. Yes. You must. All right. Oh, oh, yeah. So there is a suggestions tab. Uh, suggest suggestion tab. Suggestion still, uh, tab. Yes. Here in uh, GGH, but it's it's closed. So probably reaching out to the right people is yeah. the, the best call. Or maybe or joining, maybe joining Toffee Talk as well. Every Thursday, like I think I ask people about like, you know, suggestions. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, maintenance feedback as well. You know, uh, yeah. If you have thoughts about the maintenance feedback or the maintenance, if you have feedback about the maintenance, uh, make sure to post something in the maintenance feedback channel in Discord. To let us uh, know what you think about the current maintenance mm -hmm. or the current updates. Uh, what are your thoughts? Do you like it or not? So every every opinion counts. Right? Yes, definitely. Every thought counts. That's actually the beauty of having like um, very uh, very active CMs as well. They've been reading those um, suggestions from time to time. Plus, they have the topic talk as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, and. Yeah, make sure to listen in on Lodikai's Tune in Toffee to Talk Lodikai. session. Right. Tune in yeah. to Lodikai's uh, Toffee Talk I think session he, with Injustice. I think Kai needs to make a commercial like Tune in every 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, uh, he already embraced that he is an Injustice cosplayer. So that's oh, also that's a part of okay. his introduction. I think Kai this can is... pull, it, pull it off. Like I saw Kai. Um, yeah, I think he can pull it off. Yeah, and uh, 
if if Kai if Lodi Kai does this injustice cosplay, I will do a whisper, a giant whisper cosplay. Well. I'm gonna support James with this whisper. There you go. If someone can do a ghost thing, ghost thing, yeah, and some whispers in the side as well. Oh, that will be oh. good. Interesting, yeah. interesting. And uh, Lodi Kai will be uh, this uh, injustice cosplayer. Maybe someone can do that Finn Dark as well. So yeah, <laughs> that's right. good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh -huh. That's good. Mm -hmm. Maybe someone is willing to do so. Anyone, guys? Anyone? In the comment section, in the no. chat. Anyone? Let's Who go. do you think is the best candidate for a Finn Dark cosplay? Wait, what's your costume again? Big giant, giant whisper? whisper. Giant, giant whisper. whisper. Okay, okay, fair enough. Uh -huh. All right. So <laughs> meanwhile, what's happening here in Fadgood? Uh, still, uh, not much of a push coming from our yes. kills right here. They're still just waiting for an opportunity oh, to strike. A flashy, uh, flashy strike coming from nonsense, ending that uh, that player's life instantly with a guillotine fist. Mm -hmm. Well, uh. I think the Castle of Dominari got a attacked a little bit earlier. Oh, okay. Uh, because uh, the entrance has been <laughs> vacated for a little bit right there. As uh, they actually went to... They went back Flying to defend. Kick? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe... Uh, I think it was Sword Guild. I saw some Sword mm -hmm. members here in the castle earlier as I was scouting in. Oh, okay. But I, I believe they're already back in the entrance defending again. Mm -hmm. So pretty interesting. So they still want to break this castle, I believe. Man, if if they really wanna like take Dominari's spot, like they need to like we like what we keep on saying, they need to catch Dominari off guard in mm -hmm. some way. Like if if there's gonna be like an off time, like a short off time for this uh, war. And if they are actually coordinated with each other, I think they can take it. Like, they should take it. Right? Yes. Uh, I think that's the only uh, window wherein Dominari is very uh, vulnerable if uh, mm -hmm. Dominari is actually outside and clashing. Okay. So we're seeing yeah, portals. Well, they need to create an opportunity to strike there. But no attacks as of yet here in uh, Holy Shadow Castle. Oh yeah, there is an attack yeah, here yeah. coming from Adonis in Holy Shadow Castle. Yeah, Dominari is going to yeah. be here. And uh, Dominari has been wiped out here at the entrance though of uh, Dominari. While there is Shadow Chaser still left here coming from Adonis. But will not uh, survive because he is getting slaughtered there by the members of yeah. Dominari. Again, this is really hard. Um, there's no doubt um, Adonis can actually penetrate the first line of defense. They can actually create chaos. They can actually um, force Dominari to, uh, to roam around on the first level of this castle. But the question there is, can, they, can Adonis sustain it? No. They need to have a follow-up attack from a certain guild or they need to perfect their push without losing anyone. Um, in order for them to have a, a good numbers on the second or third level for this castle. So, yeah. I mean, they were a little bit successful earlier. Yeah, yeah. Attacking. Actually, they yes. managed to push until the preamp area. But Dominari yep. set up their defense really, really quickly after that. Mm -hmm. And they have a solid defense there in the preamp area as well. So they are very quick into going back in to defend that area. Yes. Because the flag warp of this castle is just there. So it's pretty hard to penetrate the defense here of Holy Shadow Castle. Yes. But anyway, MG, we mentioned earlier about joining the ROGGH Discord. Yeah. One of the things that you should do as well, or one of the things that you can expect to see if you join or uh, it, if you join in the ROGGH Discord is that you can participate in the ROGGH Discord events. Because currently, there mm -hmm. is a Discord event ongoing, which oh. is called let's meme discord event like right? can i can i join on that one like uh, i'm gonna yes you can All like right. i'm gonna meme my character like mm -hmm. because the admins of rogh have noticed the artistic side of many of our talented artistic players beauty. and would love to give back to the community join the event and stand a chance to win an exclusive costume banana hat so can you meme can you mean? Do you mean? So join, <laughs> join the RGGH Discord now and participate yes, in the join event. Yes, join guys. 
Yes, so how to participate? Of course, first thing you need to do is to join the official ROGGH Discord channel and set your role under Ragnarok Online GGH. I'm sorry. Next is do up a one image meme in English on ROGGH Discord. The meme can be about the recent updates, NPCs, classes, monsters, equipment, etc. Include a one two liner description on what the meme is about. Entries will be sent in event answers channel. Oh my and each God. participant is only that. allowed to send one entry. Winners will be selected by the community managers by criteria of originality, creativity, and overall impact of the entry. And the prizes are two participants will win a costume banana hat and two two battle manuals, two job manuals, and two bubble gums. And five random participants will get Battle manuals, job manuals, and bubble gums. All right. So the event period of this mm -hmm. event is from November 21 up to November 28, 10 a.m. The announcement of the winners is going to be on November 30, 2022. All right. So make sure wow. to join the ROGGH Discord now and participate in the Let's Me Discord event. Yes. I'm going to yeah. join that. Like, how many entries can you, uh, like... But like one, two? Uh, only one entry. Only one entry. Each participant is only allowed to send one entry. Like I have but a lot of ideas. Like mm. Mm. and guys, there are rules in the Discord event as well. So be sure to check it out. Yep, um, yep definitely. Uh should I should I read it out loud? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. All right. Um Yeah, the oh. Discord the Discord event uh okay so memes must be kept pg-13 uh text in meme must be english uh memes must not consist of any of the following uh racist and sexist remarks yeah rude remarks in general no plagiarism uh using the same image is okay but using the same image and text is no uh it's not <laughs> Alright, so memes that go against the terms and the conditions will be deemed as invalid and participants may be issued a warning or be banned accordingly. So yes. make sure to read the terms and conditions before joining the Let's Meme Discord event. So there is a sample post of course in the Discord announcement channel in the ROGG Discord. And make sure to check it out because uh, <laughs> it's, it's a pretty... It's pretty pretty cool if you can join that event let your creativity come out yes definitely and uh definitely i'm gonna join that uh meme mm -hmm. event Let's go. all right okay and yeah you might uh you might make a meme about yourself in a RPG. yeah actually i'm i'm a, i'm actually thinking like one of the memes that i'm trying to make is the uh the pay on like I really like your uh, accent. If <laughs> you say something, pay on. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. I really like your accent, that, though. Hey, uh, James, I really like that. your accent. Can you say something? Pay on. Uh, there you go. I, I know. I know that image that you're going to use. Oh though. yeah, yeah. The Dexter or something. The, the Dexter. Yeah, 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 the yeah, Dexter. Yeah. Well, that was oh, good, right? That, that was, was good. good. Yeah, that yeah. was good. Someone's going to use that. Yeah. <laughs> I think somebody... Guys, come on. You can actually use that. I still have another one. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh! Yeah. I'm excited for anyway. that. Meme Awards uh -huh. 2022. Goes to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> create, create memes if you yeah, feel yeah, like... Uh, okay. You have and the creativity to create those yep. memes. And this Memes Award 2022 mm -hmm. goes to... James and yeah, if 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 your creativity is similar to Lodi Kai doing oh, no, that in just cosplay, beat Kai. Kai was really good. Yeah. Uh yeah, yeah. Lodi Kai is good, in, especially because of the creativity of that injustice cosplay. No one can beat that. Injustice. Mm -hmm. yes. Like, if he's gonna put that meme, dude, hundred percent. Like, if there's gonna be a voting poll on that one, <laughs> no, no. I'm no, gonna, no, I'm you gonna... can't use that. You can't use that. I'm gonna. You can't use that. <laughs> Vote like you know, vote anyway to win that. Anyway, uh, word. 
Yeah, uh, just as long as the, the, the memes you post in the uh, event is going to be under the terms and conditions, that will be fine. Uh, yes. All right. We need to follow them. So, sent by Anthony right here in the chat. What <laughs> game is this? This is Ragnarok Online. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. You can uh, the... check out the game by visiting our website, ro.gnjoy.asia. <laughs> Or just check out the Ragnar Online GGH page here in Facebook. Yes. Go and download the game. And check it. Check the events as well. It's really good. Check it out right now. All right. And yeah. One thing I want to mention yeah. as well. Uh, because uh, we did mention that uh, about the Let's Be in Discord event. Mm -hmm. One of the events ongoing currently is the Eden Board and Supply Manager quest yes! plus 50%. Yes. So from November 17 up to December 1, which is going to be more than a week before it ends, players who completed Eden Board and Supply Manager quests will receive additional 50% EXP. EXP gained from the quest can be increased with battle manuals, job manuals, and HE battle manuals. Yeah. All right. So happy leveling adventurers so for those board quest people out there this is now the time to do so do your board quest do your supply manager quest because more xp is coming your way yes MG, it's time for you to level up <laughs> it's time for yeah, you yeah, to actually, level up yeah, MG. We're, we're gonna make a guild like i'm gonna make a guild like i'm gonna recruit in frontera I'm gonna visit gaffin and now we'll get people you know i'm gonna yeah. get people and farm that OBB. Well, yeah. you know, MG, you can start doing some meaningful board quests starting from level 15. Just killing some spores and um, stem worms. Mm -hmm. Then transfer to uh, Payon Dungeon. Payon. To, to attack those skeletons. Alright, so okay. just just continue the board quest at um, then Orc well, Warriors will be the next I one. Doing Orc the, Zombies. The Zombies, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, because at lower levels, it's actually it's actually pretty good XP. But for the higher levels, though, it's a lot more useful in doing yeah. board quests. Because I believe just one run of a one board quest run from level one hundred can get you around one level, mm -hmm. one full run oh. of all the quests right there. Not really all the one hundred quests. Oh. So that is without the EXP bonus, and uh, I believe that's without manuals as well. Oh, so if you have manuals, if you have the fifty percent more EXP from from the board quest, and if there is going to be another <laughs> EXP boost in the weekend, or maybe in another day, another day, you know, plus 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 EXP, it's actually a lot of EXP you can yes. get. Yep, yep, definitely. Ooh. So a lot of uh, we're getting a lot of opportunities for us to level our characters they've been releasing uh multiple xp boost from time to time like last week i think we had a uh, 50 percent exp boost as well yeah and right now the even board wow mm -hmm. and uh you know ggh is uh practically telling you mg to level up right now yeah. but yeah. i don't know what you're actually doing <laughs> It's actually. I don't know what you're me. doing, MG. In front you of should me, try level, level up right up now. My character. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, because of this this additional board quest, you know, um, it's pretty useful for people leveling up, trying to level up their characters. Um. Yeah, uh, especially with the the Sally port and PC. It's Sally pretty yes. easy to get the dungeons required to do those board quests as well. So, yeah, all you need to do is to have some Eden coins and you can use those those Eden coins in the Sally Port as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right? Uh, some require Eden coins. I think some don't as well. Yeah. Uh, I'm not really sure about that. Uh, I need to check that out. But, yeah. Uh, pretty easy to do board quests right now. Just yep. Party up with some people. I believe some people are looking for parties for board quests. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw one party earlier looking for members from in doing a board quest from 100 to 120. 
oh. uh, range or 100 to okay. 110 range. That's nice. Forge quest. So yeah. Mm. All right. So said by Gabriel. Hi, uh, team. Payon all the way. Payon. Right? Payon. Right? We're, we're used to calling it Payon for a long yeah. time. I didn't know that's but, Payon. Yeah, it's Payon, Payon, whatever you call it. It's the same town. But that's going to be a good meme. Like, Payon. <laughs> Say some Payon. Payon. <laughs> <laughs> but, right. Oh, wait, wait. James, question. Can they su uh, can they submit a video or just a uh, like, plain image? Uh, it should be an image. Okay. Uh, a one Im one one image meme, all right. It's a one image meme. Yeah. I was uh, planning to. I was actually thinking about of uh, like sending a video as well, like one video. No, meme. no, no, no. It's yeah. <laughs> so one image meme, all right. Okay. That's um. Good. And yeah, well, a lot of memes will be sent there. I I'm actually curious to see the creativity of the players. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm curious of their submissions as well. So maybe in the when the event gets finished, we'll have a chance to actually see maybe we can the flash winner. It. Yeah, maybe we can flash it next time. Uh -huh. yeah, oh, yeah. maybe the winner of the event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, can, we can check out yeah, the really good. Mm -hmm. And said by Gabriel, let's go MG time to do BQ 70 to 90. All right, <laughs> MG is willing. Or yeah, Gabriel is willing yeah, to join yeah. you for the BQ. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, James, like Gabriel was really, uh, he is actually really supportive of uh, the streams and the same time on leveling. He's actually teaching me as well. So yeah, thank you, dude. <laughs> Definitely, I'm going to level up my character. I'm just mm -hmm. finishing, preparing something. Yes, and <laughs> well, I, I'm thinking. Wait, of, wait! Uh... You keep on, you keep on uh, telling me to level up. Like, what level are you now, James? How about James, guys? Ma like, I, I'm, I'm trying you know. to level up my Sura. You know, you know. It's already keep on saying uh... level up. Why? Yeah. You tell. It's already that... 120 plus. Okay, so... you tell MG only, not James anymore. <laughs> well, I, I am leveling up every day. Yeah. It's only you. You're the problem. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I gain like a minimum of um. I gain at least I mean, you have a, a single level a day. Well. Yeah. Yeah. It depends on who I'm playing with. So I, I level with um some low level characters or new characters. Mm -hmm. I also try to level up with my existing <laughs> characters. So yeah. it depends on who I'm playing it with and uh what character I'm supposed to use. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, maybe there are uh, battles here in uh, other castles right now. Yeah, let me just MG, check out. let's check yep. it out. Mm -hmm. So what are you seeing there, MG? Okay, so I'm still at Remhill. This is under Adonis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so where? Maybe Scarlet? Can okay, you check out Scarlet Palace? Yeah, let me just uh, jump in. Scarlet. There you go. Mm -hmm. And we're still not done with the event or the the debate, guys. Um, who, who do you think has more death counters? Is it MG or CMME? If Again, I stop, saving, no one answered. Uh, if no I'm one just answered, trying to uh, you know save save myself. Like if I'm not gonna save the party, guys. Nice. Who will? You don't need to do it. Oh, okay. We have fly wings for a reason. <laughs> we have teleport skills. We have fly wings for a reason. Why yeah, did you sacrifice yeah, I mean, yourself yeah. for the Lord? That makes death? sense. That makes sense. I get this. What are you thinking, MG? I tried to dodge one attack, you know, because I have luck <laughs> plus the ad 99 Agi. <laughs> so, you know, if mm -hmm. I manage to dodge one attack, oh. My god, like, that's gonna be super good. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, wait, okay. Oh, did they get attacked? Oh, no, no, Adon is still there. But MG, oh. okay. Uh, as you can see, Dominari is still going to push in. Again, with that sorcerer, that sorcerer has huge uh, firepower. And yeah, yeah. yeah that uh, that sorcerer knows who Selene is right now. Looking at the headgear, but uh, Dominari is going to push in. Must create endurance on that royal guard of Dominari. If that connected, uh, no skills can get casted, and Bloody Lust will he get defends. casted on the floor. 
right there, but no magnetic Falling earth water? got casted. So, oh, but because difference. of that bloody lust, uh, they actually back down and they will not be able to cast kills while inside that uh, bloody lust kill. Yes, that was a good like read coming from Adonis, like putting that bloody lust um, on the first cell of that portal. Ooh. Okay, mm -hmm. so another attempt coming from Adonis. Oh, I mean, uh, Dominari. Yes, uh, uh, but Adonis is just now oh, pushing out. In. Social destruction will connect there. But uh, I believe that Royal Guard just soaked up all the damage that that Suicide Destruction did. As um, Chaos Panic has been cast in the floor, but Magnetic Earth will get casted right here over it. And uh, they are just trying to uh, damage Adonis as mm -hmm. they are backing away. They're using their, their mobility. I believe Guyax can uh, play a huge role in you know, pushing in and pushing out from battles. Oh, wow. Like, again, that sorcerer coming from from that guild, like, that can actually, uh, like, wipe uh, one party with his skill. Wow. All right. Okay. Yeah, so Adonis is going to be NG. Why are you not talking? <laughs> no, no, no. I was actually checking the uh, like the composition right now. As you can see, uh, like Adonis has uh, I think two mechanic right now. Like they've been using like one mechanic before. I think they gained some members as well, and um, a sudden shift from their royal guard because mo majority of their um, rallies or uh, their regroup. The Royal Royal Guard is playing a, uh, a support role. That's why I keep. Uh, I'm just checking their lineup right now. They have an additional mechanic plus an offensive um, Royal Guard, which is actually really good. Um, it's actually boosting their offense capability on clashes. So yeah, very good. Hmm. Well, you know, uh, a uti utility Royal Guard. Yeah. Should be paired with a, uh, a, uh, a crowd control or a CC. Mm -hmm. uh, a ground or you say GC ground control. Yeah, ground control. Um, yeah. What do you call this? Uh, oh man, oh. Uh, Royal Guard. Again, oh. overbrands will uh, cause huge damage against your opponents, especially if you're uh, defending your own stack as well. You know, you won't, you won't get caught immediately because you have some uh, skills getting cast on the floor. Mm -hmm. uh, on your stack, you can uh, invade the enemy stack as well along with uh, probably uh, Curse Circle, Suicide Destruction before it yes. hits. Yes. Or maybe that uh, Guilting Cross can go in as well using that Rolling Cutter to just die and deal more DPS. Yep. Followed with a Warlock who probably knows who Selene is. You know, it will cause a huge DPS uh, or damage yeah. against your opponent. But again, um, seeing the lineup of Adonis right now, um, they actually boosted their offense capability on Warf Imperium. Having that extra Royal Guard plus extra mechanic on top of uh, doing a neutral barrier on the high ground. Uh -huh. But but sword though, sword. There are sword members here in Holy Shadow Castle, but we, they will get wiped out by one Diamond Dust. Okay, so okay. no more sword members here. Bloody Lust? Uh -huh. Oh, he's getting uh, frozen there consistently. Uh -huh. But yeah, that magnetic earth uh, actually affected the bloody lust. Bloody bloody lust will get cast on the floor, and I think that those are two shadow chiefs coming from Dominari. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they are going to get damage here. While well, one shadow chaser got caught by the manhole after shock pushing him with that front slide. Oh! We'll eliminate some oh, players right two there. Players. Three actually. And one yeah. Okay. Well, so what a uh, what a. Uh, Unexpected suicidal destruction here. Yeah. Coming from aftershock, though. Well, to be fair, like we're actually seeing a lot of uh, mechanic, uh, mechanic now. Mm -hmm. um, I think they just um, got inspired, but by that, by our tournament, the Ragnarok Asian Masters. That's why they're re-rolling to mechanic, maybe. Because the mechanics are right now is getting like every guild has a mechanic now. Like Adonis added one. Aftershock added like one or two. Mm -hmm. Dominaria as well, like three. 
Just imagine oh. how many mechanics are getting uh, built up right now yeah. for Warfare. Yeah, I, I believe uh, I saw like three mechanics in the side of Domini earlier, and that was just in the entrance. Yes. Uh, I don't know if there are mechanics in the preemp as well, so probably four or five mechanics for Dominari. It's a pretty good ground control, uh, what do you call this, uh, character, but uh, Suicide Destruction has a five minute cooldown, so it's not really ideal if you're just going to push in and push out really, really quickly. But again, mechanics have other skills as well that they can utilize yeah. while that Suicide Destruction is on cooldown. So, yeah, it depends on how they use it, how they are capable in using a mechanic yes. for um you know um for a uh, war for the for for war period yes and during the, the uh, tournament as well on the side of dominari dominari is actually like i think 60 percent of their matches um on their side they have that uh they have that mechanic mm -hmm. most of their lineup Ooh. so i think they're just uh holy shadow though Oh, MG, okay, okay. Bobby Shadow, uh, actually two members of Sword just actually went in to, uh, to like a uh, cause a ruckus here in uh, Holy Shadow <laughs> Castle, Crimson Rock, uh, get Castle here, but will get eliminated quickly by Dominari. This is what as I, they are yeah. quick in their movements, though. Yes, yeah, this is what I like about Sword. Like they're not scared in any guilds at all. Like they, if they just want to, if they want to go in, or if they decided to go in, they're just gonna go in and take down people. You know, well, regardless you know, what guild. Yeah. If you remember what happened last Tuesday, Sword was able to attack the Imperium oh, yeah. of Dominari. They yeah, were that but... close. Yeah. So Vadak and 100 very very strong were attacking that Imperium yeah, for yeah. a long time. So yeah, uh, pretty interesting, and that's why they're not they're not really that afraid anymore. Yeah, mm -hmm. having that uh, momentum on their side as well, that they know that they can penetrate the defense of uh, one of the uh, strongest guilds in our server. Uh, that was actually a good or that's a good statement uh, that they can actually hold on to and uh, push through on any other guild as well. But yeah, yes. but um, going back to that break, the uh, speaking of the Imperium of Dominari, I think that that Imperium was so tough for them to, uh, you know, to deal with or to break as well, because of the eco as well or for the economy, um, on what Dominari did for this castle. Yeah, well, having high economy on mm -hmm. high uh, high defensive economy for your guild is also a, a huge plus. <coughs> Again, uh. You know the economy, or for the for your treasure chest, is high, but the guild defense uh, grows a little bit slower. So it's going to be probably in the seventy or eighty percent right now for the build up of the defense of the castle. So if they okay. invest in that as well, it's going to be tough. Like how many breakers can you like? Do you need to put on that imperium? In order for it to break like really quick, like a one minute break. Maybe. How many GX? Like maybe four? like uh five players with 193 attacks. We can probably what? break that Imperium in a in a minute. Yeah, probably in a minute. But you need like wow. five or maybe like a ten players with 193 attack speed. Yeah. Because it probably probably break really really quickly. You just need all your members to attack that Imperium. Yes. Because technically, uh, we saw Vadrak how he actually uh, punish other players like a 1v1, 2v1, 3v1, 5v1 scenario. Like Vadrak without any question, it has the damage. But having him like doing a free hit on that Imperium for like 2 minutes... Yeah. It's going to be tough. It's really tough, yeah. It's going to be tough, yes. But it's not impossible. Yeah. It's, it's tough, but it's not impossible to break all on your own. Uh, it might take a long time, but it's better than not hitting at all. Exactly. So, yeah. It depends on what your objective is, I believe. It's going to be good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, they're not there in the Imperium yet. But if you want to break it quickly, you need to have some high attack speed characters or players in your guild. Mm -hmm. Probably a lot of them. So, uh, if you saw earlier, like Atoy was uh, using that uh, Sera with that Call Legion to attack the yep. Temperium, that will actually break faster because uh, multiple hits will attack the Temperium. <laughs> I'm not sure if uh, 
the the Call Leader, the the Lushola Vespa can also damage that Imperium. Mm -hmm. But I believe they do though. Yeah. But again, going back to uh, Dominary, um, I think the threat is always there on the side of uh, Dominary because right now, like guilds, they just want to push Dominary right now. What? And Dominary recognizes the the aggressiveness of the guilds right currently. Uh, we saw that last Tuesday and I believe last Saturday as well, like you mentioned earlier. Um, a consistent aggression from other guilds on pushing and punishing uh, Dominari's uh, defense. So that's why uh, I think they're just putting a, uh, a defensive um, plan to put like a second defense inside. Well, they always need to be focused and ready for defense for Dominari. Mm -hmm. Because they can get pushed anytime, <coughs> right? They can get pushed anytime. So if they have a hold of uh, whatever's happening right here, they, they just need to be aware that, you know, they can get pushed anytime. Yep. And if they don't let their guard down, they can do a lot of things. Definitely. Definitely. Okay, so I think right now, Sword is uh, trying to prepare for an attack. But again, I think... Um, on the side of Adonis, they managed to scout already uh, that Sword is going to be entering their defense here so let's go ahead and check if sword can actually uh, wipe out the uh, defensive stack of adonis here or adonis can actually uh, defend this imperium versus sword and versiculo is just poking around making sure that he's uh, actually putting that pressure he can actually do a uh, can do a quick um guillotine face on that one but again no mm -hmm. sword is actually entering now no um solid defense here on the entrance or the, on the portal and right now sword is just marching towards the stack of Ooh. adonis adonis right now is trying to survive but sword is losing players one by one they only have like three players or four players right now and one player got affected by that bloody uh bloody lust yes and two players right now coming from sword is just pushing through asura and a uh a uh, royal guard the royal guard is trying to survive but apparently and speaking of royal guard we're talking about badrak badrak doing damage but again adonis knows how to punish badrak on that push and adonis won that fight versus sword yeah actually it's, uh, let's go to the entrance of fadrid castle right now okay. mg let's see if there are people inside because this is the time right now that players are usually just uh, pretty chill and waiting for the <clears throat> the right opportunity to capture different castles because again they want to maximize on what they get from in War of Imperium because every War of Imperium it's really it's really expensive, expensive to participate yes. in War of Imperium. <clears throat> but I think uh, expensive is not our term on the side of sword because they want to uh, push through Adonis uh, Adonis Castle right now. <laughs> They're very yes. persistent on taking mm -hmm. this. They still have like uh, eight minutes though, so I think uh, that's that time. Well, they still they still have a lot of time yeah. to make things work. Like, but more, we'll see push? if a yeah, sword is going to be this. successful oh. in the attack in uh, Fadgrid Castle. Oh, did that get broken? Wait, what? Oh, oh, okay. so it got, got captured by sword. Okay, what? All right, so it got captured by sword. Anyway, uh, Adonis is probably going to try and take a hold of it. They still have more time to, um, to you know, to attack Fadgrid Castle once again. Yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, uh, Nemesis Armada actually is uh, outside uh, Bright Arbor Castle. Oh uh, no, another nonsense in Nemesis Armada. Bright Arbor. Or outside Bright Arbor Castle right now as well. So we might see some defense here coming from Nemesis or nonsense, and. Some players of Nemesis Armada are outside Hohenshuang Go as well. Okay, mm. so pretty interesting. Anyway, as uh, we are almost done with our War of Imperium session for tonight, let me uh, announce that we will be having a Kafra Point event from November 24 to November 30. Don't miss out on the Kafra Point event and get consumables, costumes, and other items when you spend your Kafra Points yes. within the event duration. For more information about this event, visit our website ro.gnjoy.h or join the ROGGH Discord and MG, your favorite promotion, of course, for this month. 
Yes. Can you uh, tell and, our viewers uh, about course, it? Of course, guys. Of course. Let's not forget the Razor Gold November. Okay. So from November one to November thirtieth, guys, recharge your G Enjoy account via Razor Gold wallet and get in-game items as such, uh, such as costume Vesper headgear and costume Yawata seal for free. Okay. For November promotions, you will get the following. For tier 1, 5,000 KP with Razor Gold Wallet, you can score Costume Vesper Headgear. And for tier 2, 30,000 KP with Razor Gold Wallet, you can score the Costume Yawata Seal. Okay, so yes. if you want to know more, you can actually check the pinned comment. Or you can actually recharge and get those KPs up at uh, www.genjoy.asia forward slash top up. There you go. Mm. Alright. And uh, five minutes before our Warframe Perim session ends, Valkyrie 3 Fadgrid has been conquered uh, again by Adonis. <laughs> and yeah, uh, some quick captures here coming from our players. Aftershock actually outside Scarlet Palace right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, while Dominary players are also here in Scarlet Palace, MG. Oh. Scarlet, Scarlet Palace. Scarlet, let me just jump. Scarlet. There you go. Um, is All that right. the inside or? Uh, just the entrance, just the entrance. The entrance okay. Dominari is here. Some of the members in aftershock. Uh, I believe they are. Oh, they're not here anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For some reason, maybe it's not is still back in Bright Arbor. Mm -hmm. Or maybe some of them conquered the uh, other Jeffen castles as well, or yes. Britonia castle. But anyway, uh few more minutes before we end our War from Param session of four tonight let me also announce that uh gravity game hub is going to be releasing a brand new srpg mobile game yes ragnarok arena pre-register now and participate in reaching milestones to get some in-game prizes when the game is released and to stand a chance to win some physical items like razor hammerhead true wireless earbuds ipad air and iphone iphone 14 pro max all right so for uh um, can i can i show it to the like the banner uh, yeah, you can show the milestone banner. So you can pre-register now and find out more about the upcoming game by visiting the website roa.gnjoy.asia or roa.gnjoy.asia or by joining the Ragnarok Arena Discord channel. Alright. Okay, so make sure you do check it out, guys. SRPG mobile game. Going to be released soon by uh, Gravity Game Hub. Alright. Anyway, uh, Scarlet Palace being held by uh, Dominary players right here. And a uh, whole shadow heavily, heavily defended by uh, Dominary still. While Fat Grid getting taken by the, the homeowner of that <laughs> castle, uh, Adonis. And yeah, I'm kind of missing the homeowner of Kremhild right now. MG mm -hmm. Arsenal. Arsenal. So yeah. we might see Shout them uh, come Arsenal. back again soon. Shout out to you guys if you're... Uh, Still there, of course. Right. I mean, I think they're just taking a bit. Yeah, maybe, maybe they're just uh trying to get some supplies for Warframe yeah. Imperium. Yeah, because again, like what I mentioned, Warframe Imperium is pretty expensive. Yep. Like, if you are a full stack guild, you have like a 50, 56 members. Mm -hmm. You're probably going to consume uh, like uh maybe eighty thousand slims or maybe more. Yeah, Dude, that's actually a no joke. Um, <laughs> yeah, you need to class. farm a lot. You need to get a lot of potions. Like, just imagine if you're using a sura as well. Like, uh, the seeds and uh, what do you call this? The the berries that you're gonna use. Mm -hmm. You're gonna consume a lot. Like, just imagine like one box of uh, seeds per clash. Mm -hmm. So, and how much is that per zeni? So that's gonna be really expensive, man. Pretty, pretty expensive to participate in War of Imperium, but guilds are always keen into participating in War of Imperium. Again, uh, lots of PvP action, some uh, attacks getting a uh, hit here and there. Did the uh, entrance of Dominari get attacked by Sword? Maybe it got attacked though. We still have a minute left. I don't think this is enough time to break this castle. I think since, they got uh, scattered since they have like a, a secondary defense for this one. Oh, sword oh, is yeah, sword sword just what? attack though. Sword just attack, but again, those shadow chasers just affecting the the attack here coming from uh, oh, from sword guild. 
Did someone? <laughs> no, yeah, I, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, there was someone though. There was someone who attacked and pushed through the def defense of uh, Dominari right there. Yeah. Imagine if it, this happened earlier and with uh, Adonis pushing in as well. That's, and Opus yeah. Day or Nemesis Armada or Nonsense yes. pushed in on the defense of uh, these players right here as well. It's going to be dangerous for the side of uh, Dominari. And Vadrak, just imagine oh, Vadrak, Vadrak is, is just sustaining though. the damage. Mm -hmm. But but uh, yeah, masquerades yeah. will do the trick again. But before he got hit by that psychic wave, before going down, he managed to take down that sorcerer as well. Yes. And a lot of status effects getting caused by Vadra wow. right there. And yeah, pretty chill war preparing for our players right here. Dominari just proved their defense um, here in Holy Shadow Castle yep. again. I believe uh, they got more members to go back or uh, participate in their guild. Uh, Maybe some of them scattered in different guilds to participate in Warf Imperium as yes. well. But uh, I believe some of them, some of their members went back to defend Holy Shadow Castle. And I, I think that's a good call because last Saturday they got attacked. Last Tuesday they got attacked. Mm -hmm. So it's just a precaution and I believe uh, they made the right choice. Yes, that's actually a really good. And again, the reads coming from Dominari, they know for a fact that, uh, that the frontline defense on this uh, map is not enough. So they actually put a secondary defense to make sure that they have like a like a, a backup plan for this one. So good job on Dominari, but still good aggression coming from the other guild as well. Really love seeing you guys uh, pushing your strategy to the limits. So keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Yes. All right. And yeah, some um, anything you want to add, MG, before we end our stream for tonight? Ah, uh, yes, guys. By the way, guys, make sure to check out the meme uh, event that we're going to have on the Discord, guys. I'm really excited to see your memes on uh, on the Discord as well. And make sure to check out the Toffee Talk this coming Thursday. If you mentioned that you have a lot of suggestions or if you know that your suggestions can actually make a difference, you can actually go and check the Toffee Talk plus the Suggestions tab. Make sure to uh, try to um, capitalize those features in our Discord as well. Oh, yeah. All right. Yes. Uh, participate in the ROGGH Discord events as well. So, yeah. Uh, that's going to be it for tonight. Again, uh, I believe we will have a Tofi Talk session also on the ROGGH Discord on Thursday. So, make sure to uh, stay tuned and stick around for that. And join the ROGGH Discord for more content and for yes. you to have a chance into joining the events as well. All right, so um, we are sorry again if we don't have our uh, beautiful faces on stream yeah. or tonight because okay. of MG's technical issues. Yes, or, or and MG's to be issues. yes, and to be fair, guys, <laughs> we're actually wearing a uh, Ragnarok Arena shirt right now. To uh -huh. be fair. Yes, but apparently I don't know what happened to the uh, to my camera right now, and I don't want to sh uh, show my background because you don't ah. want to see it. You don't want to see it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> nobody wants to see it. I nobody. Believe. But anyway, yes. that's going to be our stream uh -huh. for tonight. Thank you all for watching. Shout out yes. to everyone in the chat, and thank you to all, uh, all everyone who participated participated in Warf Imperium for tonight. So that's going to be it for us. Once again, we are your casters. My name is James, and my name is MG. All right, have a good night, and we'll see you guys on Saturday. Saturday. Warf Warf Imperium stream once again. All right, bye guys. Bye bye.